All right, Dick, and something that I see in trouble a lot of people is these breakups, these relationship breakups. And it really gets us in our head dealing with all of these emotions and all of that. And this was something I really, really wanted to put on this YouTube channel. How do we deal with a relationship breakup, breakup with a partner? How do we deal with that? Well, everything we're feeling is created from thought. Mm -hmm. So it's normal to have any of the feelings that people have. I don't care if it's being happy or sad or hurt or confused or desperate or depressed. Those are all normal feelings because we're just feeling whatever we're thinking. So... When there's a loss, often people have thoughts that create unhappiness or sadness. That's normal. But if they don't know that the feeling of sadness is being created by their own thinking, they'll think they're sad about the breakup. Yeah. Now, what can you do about that? Because the breakup happened and it's making you sad, so you're a victim again. Now, as people start to understand more where their feelings come from, something different happens. You can have a loss, feel really sad, and it keeps bringing you back to the present moment. And when we're sad and in the present moment, it's just natural and we get over it very easily. So you don't live in sadness, you don't get stuck there. If something happens and people are having difficulty, it just means they're getting stuck in a painful feeling. Yeah. And when they realize, wait a minute, the only reason I'm stuck is I keep thinking about this in a way that creates this feeling. And when they realize that, why would I keep thinking about this? And they come back to the present moment. Mm -hmm. They start to feel better. And then they have their wisdom will guide them through this change in their life more gracefully. Yeah, that's so nicely said. Wisdom guides you either go back or to go in another direction. You really find that answer from inside. I've seen a lot where... Um, People would ask outside of themselves to other people, but the best solution does come from inside of yeah. us when we truly inquire within. When we're truly calm, that's the nicest solutions we can get. Well, I've been through a lot of loss mm -hmm. and change, and I'm glad I have have an understanding that lets me know it's normal to have any of these feelings but they're being created by my own thinking. And that when I fall out of my thinking, always, as my head quiets down and clears, it's built into us to feel better. And when, as we feel better, we have more common sense and we're, we make better decisions. So we can make better decisions on how to get on with our life. Yeah rather than being stuck in very painful feelings. That's very hopeful that it, you learn how to be very resilient, which means you're still going to have your downs, but you don't get stuck. Now, isn't it interesting, Felix? Most people, when they're feeling down, do more thinking. Yeah. And no one can think their way into the present moment and into well-being. So the more you understand this, when you feel down, you start doing less and less thinking, and then you come right back up again. Right. And then you have all the common sense you need to make good decisions and get on with your life. That's so nicely said. I think of it as if that, that presentness, that calmness, it's our natural state. It feels like it's like we're pushing... Um, an inflatable under the water and pushing it is the thought, the thinking, but it rising up 
it rising on the water, that's the natural state. That's natural, yeah. When my head clears, that well-being inside of me rises up and I feel it. I start feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. One more piece of this. Yeah. Often during a breakup, it's we can have judgmental thinking either about the other person or about ourselves. And when we realize that we're holding on to judgmental thoughts and we let them go, that's what forgiveness is. So if we don't forgive ourselves or the other person for what happened, it just means innocently I'm going to hold on to this thinking even though it makes me feel bad. So forgiveness is letting go of thoughts that keep us down. Letting go of judgmental thoughts is what forgiveness is. It's not, can I forgive the other person for what they said to me as we broke up or for what they did yeah. that caused us to break up. It's not about, do I forgive their behavior? It's, is it ever helpful to hold on to judgmental thoughts if doing that makes me suffer? Why would I keep holding on to these judgments about myself or you if it causes me to suffer? Yeah. And so forgiveness always brings us back to being able to get on with life, enjoy life, be loving again, be happy again. So that's, that's been very helpful for my clients to learn forgiveness is not forgiving the other person or our own behavior is letting go of judgmental thoughts. That's all forgiveness is. And without that, we'll, we won't be resilient. We won't be able to get on with life. We won't be able to be, uh, and be able to enjoy life again.